Well, the pressure is on for strict Ebola procedures at U.S. hospitals. Yeah, Dallas Hospital is accused of botching protocol. Tonight, it's caring for a man with the first case of Ebola diagnosed in America. Cardio News Channel 13's Rena Novini is finding out what went wrong and what policy Memorial Hospital has in place. By all accounts, Thomas Eric Duncan did the right thing. On September 24th, a few days after he arrived in Dallas from Liberia, he started to feel sick. He walked into a Dallas emergency room two days later. He told the nurse he had traveled from Africa, but was sent home with antibiotics. On the 28th, he returned to the hospital by ambulance. And on the 30th, lab results confirmed he has Ebola. He volunteered that he had traveled from Africa in response to the nurse operating the checklist and asking that question. Regretfully, that information was not fully communicated throughout the full team. We are prepared for an Ebola patient if they should arrive here. Memorial Hospital says that wouldn't happen here. There's a screening protocol in place that starts in the emergency room. We will be screening them with travel questions. If travel history and symptoms could point to Ebola, that person would immediately go to an isolation room. And we have different kinds of isolation for different kinds of diseases, and we end per CDC guidelines, and we know exactly where to put each patient. Next step in protocol is the phone calls. The hospital would immediately call local, state, and federal health agencies, all in an effort to keep the disease contained. The isolation rooms at Memorial are negative air pressure rooms, meaning air can get in, but air from that room does not go out into the hospital. There's also protective equipment available for all staff, patients, and visitors just in case Ebola or any other contagious disease makes its way to Memorial Hospital. We're live outside Memorial Hospital. Rana Novini, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Rana, thank you. And doctors say Duncan, that man, came in contact with more than a dozen people since he started showing symptoms. All those people are being monitored tonight. And we are learning more tonight about the first Ebola victim diagnosed in the U.S. It was his first trip to America. He was visiting family at these apartments right here in Dallas when he started feeling sick. His family says he is now able to talk and pray. And we do have more on Ebola and the precautions the state health department is taking on KRDO.com. You can find that in our big story section.